In this video, we're going to be looking at the Britannica Home Study Guides, and there's a whole collection of them here we're going to look at, um, but I picked out two in particular that I'll show you in some depth so you can get a sense of what these are like. Um, a lot of this kind of stuff from Britannica doesn't show a publication date, but what I did is I looked at the... Uh, references that they put in the back and they all seem to end like the most recent uh reference seems to be 1967 1968 um sometimes they do a dual column like here and then sometimes they do a single column but we're going to look at the psychology one because i think it's a good example um starts with an introduction here And then it gets into a number of sections and subsections. So there's four sections here, starting with history and then going into, uh, so there's historical development of psychology. There's elements and processes of psychological activity. There's methods and fields of psychology. And then there's modern schools of psychology. So within each of these sections, there's subsections like this one, last one, modern schools. You have introspective, you have behaviorism. You have gestalt, a.k.a. configurationism. You have psychoanalysis, number four. And then you have purposive or hormonic psychology. And within each of these, so for psychoanalysis, for example, um, you have just about a page of content, and then you have a bunch of, you have what your reading is going to be, and what order it should go in. So you can see you're not just going in order from volume 1 to volume 30. And there's also two pieces to this. There's the key concepts on the left-hand side, and there's the biographies on the right-hand side. So Mesmer, Braid, Janet, Prince, Brewer, Freud, Rank, Jung, Ellis, Adler, Horney. So you've got a reading list. And then you get your supplementary reading in the back. And so the entire thing is 22 pages. And then you just have some blank stuff, and then that's the back. So that's psychology. I'll show you one other one, um, business and professional careers. This one's a bit thicker. It's uh, 37 pages total. And so it's got a more dense bibliography. And so it starts out with an intro, giving you a sense of the different categories of um, occupations. And then it goes piece by piece. And uh, It starts off with agriculture, so it's giving you a bunch of readings of different key things within agriculture. It's also got, um, somewhat rare, some references to Britannica Book of the Year. So Book of the Year was a separate piece of the Britannica, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica, that they'd publish each year. So you would get this yearbook, and that was a... Um, a, a yearly subscription that you would get updates. So this basically goes through all the different professions. Um, here's the engineering profession.
Here's the law reading list and the medicine. So up top is law. And then here's medicine. So you're getting a sense of all the different major areas and you're able to learn about the sections and subsections. Here's all the trades or building trades. This is the major trade section. Um, here's the arts. So they give you a really nice overview of stuff and uh, it really facilitates big picture thinking and being able to zoom in and zoom out. So now we're going to look at the stack so you can see all the different books in this recent European history, modern communication, sports and games, women's interests and cultural activities. Um, this is kind of interesting because uh, here's the intro, how to organize a club. So there was a lot of, in the older versions especially, there was a lot of how-to stuff about basically how to be a housewife, how to um, keep a house, housekeeping stuff, how to conduct a meeting, um, methods of voting, constitution and bylaws, enhancing the home environment, better living, interior decorating, candle making and uh, kind of stuff like that, pottery and porcelain right here, uh, decorative fruits and decorative paints and painting. Um, flowers and flower arrangement. Um, types of plants and flowers. family and social life. So there would be stuff in the encyclopedia itself about um, child rearing and all different types of stuff like that. Synthetic materials, Latin America, transportation, interior decorating, English lit, civil engineering, religions of the world. Starts off with quotes. So interesting readings for the introduction, mysticism, pantheism, monasticism, Theism, sacrifice, rites, and ceremonies. So it's got pretty good coverage. Um, different sects of Christianity here and other religions, modern or 
world today. Islam here. Far East. It's just really good um, overviews. Judaism here. Christianity. So lots of stuff there. So that's religions of the world, natural resources of the US chemistry, architecture. There's no pictures in any of these, by the way. So, um, gives you kind of a, a historical, starting with Greek and Roman, or actually going back further than that, but then Greek and Roman. Um, Medieval, a lot of medieval. American literature, political science, American history, painting and sculpture, physics, business law. It's kind of interesting that it's kind of a niche thing. So they have an overview of law in different cultures. Major divisions of Anglo law. Kind of have your first year of law school there. Botany. Appreciation of music. Philosophy. Actually, might be able to show you a little bit of this. So early philosophy is right there. And then um, medieval. Economics. Starts off with some definitions. The story of medicine. So it goes all the way back. Astrology, divination, imatep, primitive magic, possession, and then the early uh, medicine men. Celsus, Empodocles, Galen, Hippocrates, Hippocratic Oath, and then uh, mathematics. That's an abacus right there. Arithmetic, theory of numbers. So that's the stack here. Uh, 
Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If there's anything you want to donate or lend to me to review, um, you can email, email me or leave me a comment down below, support at timothykenny.com. And uh, make sure you check out the playlist below for other Britannica stuff. I'm going to be doing um, reviews on a lot of different Britannica stuff. Um, and I've already done a bunch, so um, that playlist will be below. And uh, if you want a spreadsheet of all of this stuff and kind of um, my collection of Britannica stuff, there'll be a link down below as well for you to uh, get that. And that's on my website. So I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video.